We all want to save our money and our planet. There's a very simple thing we can do, and that is turn devices power off when they are not in use. Many electronic devices in homes and offices are left power on or on standby even when they are not being used. In this video, we will have a look at the energy wasted by some devices on standby and I hope that will help you understand why it's good to turn your devices off when they're not in use rather than keeping them on standby. So let's proceed. In this demonstration, I'll use three common home electronic devices. There is a television on the left, a television set-top box personal video recorder and also an audio video receiver amplifier on the right. In the test, I'll be measuring two parameters. The first is temperature of the device and second, the amount of current consumed by a device whilst it is on standby. To do that, I will use the FLIR E8 thermal camera for temperature and the FLIR CM82 clamp meter in conjunction with the SEW ALS-3 AC line splitter. We start with the Fetch TV set-top box and here are two thermal MSX images captured by the FLIR E8 camera. On the left is the set-top box in power off mode and on the right the set-top box in power on standby mode. With the power cord unplugged there is obviously zero current consumption. When it is on standby mode, the current consumption is measured to be 0 0.10 amps. The primary observation is that on standby mode, the device heats up. As you can see that the area that is warmed up is large compared to the area on the set-top box when the power is off and um, it was cooling down from when I had it in standby mode. Next. I have a 55 inch television. The thermal camera is imaging the rear of the television on the left with the power off, zero amps consumed. On the right, on standby mode, 0 0.31 amps consumed. And you see on the rear of the TV, there are two areas that are warm. The large one on the left and the small one on the right. And whereas these areas do not appear on the TV when the power is off. So in standby mode, Power is being consumed by the device and is heating up electronics and circuitry in the back. Next, we have the Yamaha audiovisual receiver. The thermal camera is aiming at the front of the device. On the left, you'll see that there's nothing that stands out as being warm because the device is off. On the right, you see the image in the center display area. It is warm and the device is consuming 0.22 amps. So what does this mean? Well, I did some basic calculations for the Fetch TV set-top box in power on standby mode for a 240 volt AC electrical power supply. In standby mode, the device consumes 0.10 amps. Assuming that the device is on standby for 100 hours a week, this means I have 5,200 hours a year it's on standby. That means it uses 520 amp hours a year and I assume a power factor 1.0. For a single phase AC power, the device consumes 124.8 kilowatt hours a year. Assuming that one kilowatt hour costs US 10 cents, this means that this device costs US $12.50 to keep on standby for a year doing nothing. The next device is the Sony 55 inch LCD television in standby mode. Again, I have a 240 volt AC electrical power supply system in standby mode. This device consumes 0 0.31 amps as you can see from the clamp meter. Again, I assume on standby for 100 hours a week giving 5,200 hours a year so on standby, the device uses 1,612 amp hours a year. Again, assume power factor of 1.0. This means it consumes 386.9 kilowatt hours a year. And assume one kilowatt hour costs US 10 cents. This device costs US 38.7 dollars to keep on standby for a year doing nothing. The last test device is the Yamaha RX Z7 AV receiver. 
again on standby, assume 100 hours a week, giving 5,200 hours a year on standby. So the device uses on standby 1,144 amp hours a year. Assume power factor 1.0, the device consumes 274.6 kilowatt hours a year. Assume 1 kilowatt hour costs US 10 cents. This means the device costs US $27.5 to keep on standby for a year doing nothing. I think it's safe to assume that each household has more than 3 electronic devices being left on standby. So I picked a number, assume that each household has 10 electronic devices left on standby for 100 hours a week and each device on standby consumes 0.2 amps. It is on standby for 5,200 hours a year. This means that on standby, the 10 devices will consume 10 devices times 0.2 amps a device times 5,200 hours a year times 240 volts RMS gives you 2,496 kilowatt hours a year. Again, assuming one kilowatt hour costs US 10 cents. This means it costs US $249.60 to keep 10 devices on standby for a year doing nothing. Now I leave you to do the math for a city of 100,000 households, then proceed to calculate for a province, a state, a country, a continent and the world. So what can I do? My suggestion is, let's keep money in our pockets and save our planet by maximizing turning electronic devices off and minimizing electronic devices put on standby. This means we help to minimize greenhouse gas emissions. I do hope that you enjoy this video. Do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more and to help the channel grow. Thank you so much.